Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Tunisia and Crochet World podcast. My name is Barbara, and I'm coming from Columbus, Ohio. And this is a podcast about all things crafty and a little bit of life thrown in. Uh, the first thing I wanted to start off with is um, some new crafts that I started. Um, trying to venture out in, into my art and writing. You guys already know that from the last podcast. But I decided I was going to do a painting. So let me show you my first work in progress that is different than knitting. And this is my first attempt to do a painting. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it look like a scrapbook page. So I'm going to put the little lines in, make it squiggly black lines like these are all little panels. And that's the last part I'm going to do. Uh, I have to do all the finishing and some extra touches for it. But that's my artwork that I'm starting with, which I'm excited to, to venture into. And because YouTube makes me say this, anything I show you, I am not sponsored by any of the companies that I show you. Also, any of the pictures that I drop down into our podcast, I am not supported by that company. So, with that said and cleared out of the way, I got some new toys. First of all, you probably hopefully will notice, I have a new camera set up with a new microphone. And I have a new light coming, so my little light off here will be disappeared. Uh, I'll have a little fancy light that's coming in a couple days. I'll drop a picture in to show you the new camera. Uh, it's really nice. I have the new tripod. Uh, it's a vulgar camera, so hopefully it'll do you really good and have a lot better quality. You might be able to see the stitches better, which I'm hoping. So that's one of the new toys that I got. The second new toy, and I'll drop a picture. Is my art pad that I've been waiting and waiting for. It is a slate two, and you can draw your drawing on a piece of paper which is on the tablet and that drawing gets put into your computer and then you can use that tablet to say I want this pink and then you color on your picture in pink with any of your pencils your markers your any any pencil because there's a ring that goes on to the, your regular pencils and you will end up having a live picture and a picture that's colored too inside the computer so it's pretty cool because you can say, okay, I'm doing this red, and then you can hit the, the red on there on the pin and have it while you're doing red here, it's red there. It's so cool. Um, hopefully I'll be able to show you some more video of that after I get a little bit used to it. Um, it's definitely different, but I love the fact that I'm going to have a physical picture done along with a computer one because then it makes it easier to put it in books it's a lot easier to put it in anything and you know that's one of my dreams is to write and, and illustrate my own kids book and so that's my first step into that dream so um, look for the picture again not sponsored I, I gotta say that or YouTube will get me um, the other new stuff is some some stitchery that I'm doing um, trying to get a little bit of relaxation with the hands from doing all the knitting and typing and crocheting it gets to your arms really bad so I decided I would pick up some stitchery kits and the first one is just a small one because I've never did stitchery I think I've done it maybe like once in high school and I'm pretty old so that's a long long time ago but this one is a cute one hopefully you can read that and it says all good things are wild and free and it's pretty cute. I only got a little bit started because I'm doing it slow. But it is adorable. I think it's cute. So then I thought, why not? You know, text time came. That's how I got the equipment. So I thought, venture into some other crafts. Not spend as much on yarn, but I did spend some money on yarn. Not a whole bunch. But I did. But that's only because if you see in my room, I have wall-to-wall -wall yarn. It's not like I need any more yarn. Trust me. I have yarn 
for multiple years. I decided I wanted my owl bag. It's a canvas bag with the little owls on it. So cute. So I got it and I started it. I got that far so far. But that's going to be a really cute bag. So I got brave and decided I was going to start some more new projects. And I think I have not only new project on the brain, but castitis on the brain. Because wait till you see the photograph, the, uh, the magazine section. Yes, I sort of got the fever and went ahead and have the, you know, I already have my tiger rug that I want to do. I have the cheetah pillow as well. And I have that one vest that I wanted to do. That was a real pretty one, which I have not done. I've not casted that on yet. And the reason why is I cannot get gauge. No matter what I do, I cannot get gauge. And I'm worried that it's going to come too small. And then I'm also a little worried that if I go a lot larger, it'll be too big for me. So if you, all you knitters out there, let me know, is it, what is the rule? If you're, if you're getting the gauge, you're not getting gauge, your gauge is smaller. Can you use a bigger needle to get that? pattern to work because I don't want to do the pattern and then not fit me and I'm busty so I need to have I want a bigger size and if it's a little bit oversized I don't have that problem but I just want to be able to know if I change the needle does it increase the size of the garment or smaller gar make it smaller garment so all you needers please leave a comment below and let me know say hey Barb it's this way because I like to do that. I just haven't got gauge and I'm scared to to do that big project and then not and then have it not work and then I'll be so upset. Um, I did get one finished object. My purple raglan sweater is done. Check it out. Check it out. It's not been blocked. But yay. And look at my little sleeves. I did the sleeves. And I did this really cute accent on the sleeves and I think that's going to look really cute when it's when it's steamed and blocked and then I did the same thing at the bottom that is really cute and you have to forgive me this is a new camera so I'm trying to learn which way it goes but it's really pretty I haven't blocked it and the ends are still needs woven in but it's good it's so pretty it's done and I'm excited very excited to do it and it's pretty long which I like I like sweaters that are long but yeah that is my sweater I can't wait to get it blocked and I'm gonna be wearing it and it's perfect because I think a little bit of spring might be coming and I might be able to wear it for spring but that is one finished project and I'm so so excited and that sort of moves me into my whips because I don't have any other finished projects because that took me a while, and then I'm still working on my Amelia dress slash coat. Um, but this is the, the last panel, so I only have, I've got this much done on the panel. I have to do that. I have to do the sleeves, and then i going to determine if I'm going to leave it as a dress or make it into a coat. And if it's a coat, then I want to put a, a round, a short row round collar on it. Uh, so that would be my next step in that process. But it's beautiful. It's pretty thick -o. I mean, it's it definitely, if you wore it as a dress, you would definitely be warm. There would be no problem. I mean, this is the type that mid of the vortex winter, you need one of those. But it's just so beautiful. It's just unbelievable. I just love this Tunisian honeycomb stitch. Just so pretty. I'm definitely going to make another sweater. Uh, I might get some thinner yarn, go up a needle size, and see the drape. And I'm going to do one where it has the honeycombs. I want to do a honeycomb like panel right through here with one collar, and the other side's honeycomb. And then the sleeves be honeycomb, but put with bobbles, stitches right down through here. That would be nice. That's what I want to do. And I want to have it have a cow like this because I like cows, even though. Technically, yes, girls with big chests are not supposed to have cows, but I don't care. 
I am who I am. They take me as I am. If they don't like it, they can look somewhere else. I dress for me. I do what I want for me. So that's how I live my life. So I ain't worried about it. So all you girls who want to wear cows that have big chest to go for it. I say more the merrier. So yep. But I can't wait to get that done. I am definitely going to be using this stitch more and more. I can't. I just am in love with it. And then I found a new ribbing. On the next podcast, you're going to see a new ribbing stitch. I'm going to show you that. And I'm going to show you um, a chevron. Tunisian chevron. I can't wait to do those two. I think those are both going to be really neat skills to add to our, uh, our I guess, our bag of tricks for Tunisian. I know that um, Tunisian doesn't get a lot of attention. So that's why this podcast brings Tunisian up to the forefront. I want Tunisian crochet to be just like crochet and knitting. I want it to be not like a stigma. I want it to be popular. So that's my goal. And I'm working on the new the ebook for that. And, you know, I've mentioned that once before. I'm adding some new stitches. I decided to add a design board in the back of the book. So all the pictures of the stitches that are in the stick dictionary is going to be in a gallery that you could cut out and put on cards and then you can lay them beside each other to do like the panel that I wanted to do for the sweater. You could put the stitches beside it and go, do I like it? Do I not like it? Does it work? Does it not work? Uh, so that's going to be added in the back of the book. I am going to throw in two of my, my Tunisian pa uh, patterns that are on Ravelry inside the ebook too, just so that people will have something that they can do. In one of the patterns I designed, especially for the new stitches that I created. So you will be able to practice those stitches and be a master of those. So that's still coming out at the end of March. Uh, it is on schedule still. I have a lot of work to do on it. Um, but I'm hoping they'll have a live date. And I'll do a special trailer and it'll come out on the YouTube. Uh, so watch for that. And I'm looking down because I'm looking at my show notes here. I already mentioned about my... Amelia dress. Um, my gloves, my Tunisian gloves are still in the process. Uh, I'm doing a gothic version. I'm doing a knit version and a Tunisian version for my gothic collection. Um, it is still in the works. I'm working on some somatics for it. I'm also uh, trying to finish up the, the knitted hood version of the hoodie. Um, so that'll have that. And I was going to be daring and try to do socks, but nah, not going to happen. Uh, so I think it's just going to be the hoodie and the, and then the gloves, I think will be really good. And I might, I don't know, figure out something else to put in there, but as it stands right now, socks is not going to happen. Um, no, the sizing is the issue, especially working with men's sizing, uh, I'm new to the sizing and that's why I had to consult people on the sizing and the drafting and make sure the math is right. So, um, yeah, socks won't happen. <laughs> I've had troubles with socks for a while. So socks and brioche is the two ones that kicks my butt, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. And then I want to show you some new magazines. And the magazines are getting me with the cast on itis because it's like, ooh, new, ooh, new. Oh, look at this one, look at this one. And I already fell into one. I'll show you one. This magazine. See that sweater on the front? Already started it. Uh, yeah. Went out and bought this really pretty yarn. Look at, check out this yarn. It's already starting. Look at that. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. It looks more blue on the camera, but I don't know if it's going to show better. Let me see if I can go over here. See if it'll do the true colors. But it's got a teal blue and the purples and the black. There you go. There's better color right there. But it's very pretty. And this whole magazine has me and it's got brioche in it there's so many brioche patterns in there that i have to learn it now uh, i just have to so i'm in deep deep trouble with it because it is a very good magazine very rarely do you get a magazine where every single pattern is something you want 
this is the, the shirt closed up. I'm going to make it a little longer because, you know, I'm not going to want to show my belly up. But look at the sleeves. It's just beautiful. And then, I mean, there is, except for that, I, you know, I would not make that, but that's cute. But everything in here is beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Again, check that out. Man. I'm just like, my sister loves this. That is just adorable. Adorable. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Not too thrilled with that, but it's a new technique, you know. It might turn out to be something that people will like. But every single one in this book is just beautiful. I mean, it's gonna, it would take me years to do all these. But geez, you, you can't help but go, oh, I wish I could knit faster so I can do that. <laughs> now this, I have a cape already that I did last time. And so that one I wouldn't do, but it's still pretty. And here comes the brioche. Check it out. That is just gorgeous. And of course it teaches you how to do it. And that's the the other uh, page had the back of the the uh, tank on it, and that's this one. And then check this out. You talk about incredible. That is a project that has to be advanced, but man, that is beautiful. And then we have those. That is just so pretty. And don't worry, there's more. There's a mosaic knitting, which I want to try. Just not enough time in the day. Just not enough time. Now see, if I had all day to sit around and do all this, maybe. I'd get a lot done. But I don't have that pleasure yet. But wait for retirement. Wait for retirement. I just want to keep telling myself. Everybody else tells, keeps telling me that's a different story. That, you know, we all have fantasies about retirement and it doesn't turn out to be the way you want it to be. But I'm hoping. I'm just hoping. Gorgeous. Especially this one over here. I love that one. And look at this one. Whoa. That is just beautiful design. So that got me. And so I cast that on. And it has this raglan type decreases that go up the sides. It sort of, here's where it starts and then it slants inward on this side and the one on the outside. And so you have the front like that and the back. The front and back is the same and the sleeves are the same as the front and back. So you just do four times and then connect it together. It's just easy and beautiful. So I had to do that one. I had to do it. So then I, I thought, okay, I'll just do the other ones, you know, you know, later. And then what happens, I go to Joanne's today to go get some fabric to make a, I want to make a quilted bag for my slate because it didn't come with a bag and it needs to be protected. I don't want it all moving around. So I thought, well, I will go ahead and make them because I looked online and they're like 30 bucks for this and 30 bucks for that. And I'm like, nope, I can make one. I've made all my other bags. Let's just make that one. So I went to get the material and the batting. And what happens? I find crochet magazine. Lots and lots of patterns in it too. And I won't show you the whole one on that one because uh, not all of them is going to be. But there's one project in here that I did. Well, two really that I bought them that said, well, three, no, four. <laughs> Again, another magazine that has tons of them in it. Uh, yeah. Right, Barb. Okay, well, let me show you the one that really got me going. And I had to go get it. And I picked up some yarn to go with it. But I'm going to... And, of course, I can't find it now. Great. It's on page... 54, Barb. 54, get it together. Q. 
Okay. Now, everybody that knows me is going to go be yelling, yep, that's you, Barb. Yep, that's you. Yes, right here. This purse. Right here. Check it out. Check it out. It is beautiful. That and that right there. That's the purse. Or bag, if you want to call it that. Let's see if I can move my fingers out of the road. That is felted. You crochet it, then you felt it. And I wanted purple because I'm a, I'm a purple girl. I love my purple. But it's you had to have 100% wool to shrink and felt it. And Joann's did not have my collar. They did have a plum. But it's only it's $7 a ball. And it's a small ball. And this bag says that it needs 10 of them. I am not paying $79 for that bag. There is no way. So, either I had to buy the wool and dye it myself and do it, or I had to find an alternative. So, I had to settle for brown instead of purple, and I'll tell you why. I'm going to reach off screen to get it. Because Fisherman Wool is a lot cheaper. And it's 100%, so it will felt. And I felted this before, and it it's very nice. It turns out to have really great fabric at the end, and it lasts forever. Um, and it's not as thick as the other ones. It's a thinner one, but it's more it's more suited for like clothes and bags. Um, plus, you get a lot more. I will be able to do the base of it in brown and then do maybe a stripe of this color which will felt with different it'll when it fells these will be like speckles and then do the top loops and everything on that and do straps with this so these two balls right here will do that bag this was $24 compared to $79 that they thought I was gonna pay to do that bag so you see the difference if you substitute the, the yarn you get the same effect. You just got to know how to do it. And yes, this bag will come out a little bit smaller uh, or thinner, I should say, than the other bag. But it's going to have, I'm going to put a lining in it anyway, so it's going to be thick and have a, a you know, silk lining. So I don't think it's going to be an issue. But a lot cheaper. Which I wish they would put substitutions in there for people who can't afford $79 who can, you know, learn to substitute this. So I will keep you progress when it gets in the queue to be done with all the other projects. And you'll all ex I'll explain some more here in a minute. So that magazine got me. And it's a beautiful magazine. I mean, it really is. See the bags on the front. There's other projects in here that I want for, this, for the spring. I mean, there is a, a little vest. I have the yarn for it already. And... It's been sitting in my stash, and now I have a project for it, which you would be surprised. It's on page 14. But um, that's the, the little loop one. And I have fur. I have fake fur that was just gorgeous. It's really soft um, in champagne and black. So I have that material, that yarn for that. And then this this is beautiful too this whole one is be cute and it's out of cotton and i have some really pretty pastel cottons that would just be beautiful for it so see another magazine who got me more cast on more new more new but that's not all there's another magazine good old vogue you know i love my vogue and one other thing that people know about me is I love cheetah print. And there's two cheetah print sweaters in here. So I am like sunk. I am sunk. Check this out. That is beautiful. And this one's made with the furry yarn. And I would make that one with the furry yarn. And then the other one that's in here... I would make and this again is another one that has ev almost every one is something I would do 
it is gorgeous there's so much in here it's on page 48 um that right there and i have the yarn for that sitting right over there i have the yellow and the black i have all that and i have i think i might have enough to do the fuzzy one i might have to get a couple more black fuzzy but i have the yarn here to do both of these projects not counting the countless other ones in here i mean the front cover speaks for itself it is gorgeous but the cheetah prints they're mine they are mine and then of course this shawl is from hoffman uh i think it's lisa hoffman yes who i don't know if you know is relative to allison hoffman who i have their new book which is a fabulous book alice hoffman and lisa hoffman it is a fairy knits 14 tales of love and magic um allison Hoff hoffman is from practical magic i'm sure you saw the movie but it's, it's also in book form and the book called the rule of magic one of my favorite authors i love her to death this book is by far worth every penny the patterns are gorgeous the stories are so cute these stories you could sit and read to your kids they are just it's a time piece this is this is magical i mean this book just warmed my heart when i started reading it it's just oh i read it from start to from front to back as soon as i got it it is beautiful and that right there is in the in this book and i am going to make me one i it is just beautiful everything about this book is gorgeous um it's actually not going in the bookcase it's going on display in the bookcase because whoops now i'm dropping everything it is just too beautiful to to have anybody mess with it but i will read the, the stories to anybody it is just a beautiful beautiful book all the way around it is gorgeous but yes magazines all the new 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 is getting me and my list of wanting to cast on is like mountains it is huge but you know we can only do as much as we can do and i still haven't got the one shawl done which is sitting down here i still have a lot of design work to do and of course i'm doing my regular knitting for me and then i'm doing all the swatches and everything and the pictures photographs and writing for the ebook so that's that's keeping me really busy and then um my blog is keeping me busy i did put the article about your the how you sit in your posture your how to rest your arms it's or it's it's important that we rest and do exercises to keep our hands because if not we get injuries and that's one of the things I've had to do. I've had to sit back and not do as much for the last week or so because I've used my shoulder muscles and my arm muscles so much that they're starting to hurt. So that's why the painting and the other stuff is coming into play to keep me not going, okay, let's just knit another row. Let's just knit another row. Let's, let's do some more. Let's do some more and push myself for injury. So we have to watch that, especially since I write all day long. Uh, my day job is writing, so it's 8 you know it's it's 7 to 3 30 constantly on the computer constantly doing stuff and sometimes doing multiple computers i'm working on one capturing on the other testing on another so that and then i come home and it's knit 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 and crochet and write and, and the same muscles get used so i'm trying to practice other muscles um and having some fun with it uh, i do have wristbands but they do not they sort of hamper me from doing the the drawing and everything else they're good for when i type and sometimes when i knit but i have to keep an eye on that so that's why i don't have as much finished objects done as i wanted but yeah, that's all right we have to go as we can and i go slow i do a couple and put it down and i go a little bit and put it down but i'm excited about the two new more stitches i love those that's going to be really extraordinary 
And then um, I'm going to try to be brave and do advent calendars this year. I'm going to design a advent calendar and then I'm going to market it and see what I can do. Um, I've had a couple of places offer me to put it up on their website saying, you know, they'll give me a little free blurb of saying she's doing advent calendars this year. So I am going to test it, but mine will not be with the merino wool. It will not be in that high range. Uh, mine's going to be 100% Peruvian. Um, if people are interested, it could be cotton, 100% cotton dyed, uh, hand dyed. Those are two of my bases. I do have, um, I can get merino if I want, but it's a little bit more pricey and it's, I don't want to charge people an arm and leg. I know this Christmas that just passed, I wanted to do an advent calendar. I wanted to go buy one and I was not paying 129 130 140 150 160 dollars for an advent calendar and a lot of people can't afford that and I think the ideal is perfect to get a little little bit of yarn each day that it would be a joy that would take any kind of Christmas blues away from people and I think if we come up with some economical ones that people can still use and I think 100% Peruvian wool is especially a hand-dyed one would be great for collar work. It'd be good for mittens. It's good for sweaters. It's good for a lot of different things, but I think people c could appreciate it a little bit more. And so I think I'm going to do that uh, and see what happens. I will do pre-orders pretty soon. I'll put it up on the website, on my website before Christmas. I'll do that. I'll put a pre-order up. Um, I'll work on the colorways now of what colors I'm going to do. It might be in a theme. It might be based off of a book. Uh, it's either going to be probably off of Fantastic Beast or it's going to be off of um, Discovery of Witches, uh, which is my newest thing. I have all three books. That new movie, that movie's coming out in the BBC America in April 7th, so I will be binge watching it. Uh, it's better than The Magician any day, um, so I can't wait to see that. And I have some exciting news that I just found out with this beautiful magazine right here, you know. I was just so into listening to all the podcasts and seeing how everybody's going to knitting shows. And I kept thinking, we just have one and it's the, in the you know, it's a nice little one, but it's not a show. It's like, you know, it's at a farm and you just walk through and you buy. Vogue Knitting Live is coming to Columbus, Ohio, November 1st through the 3rd. <laughs> I will get to go to the Vogue Knitting Live. That is so exciting. So I can't wait. And it's on the website, it says come sign up, but it's, it says coming soon for us because it's clear in November. But I'm excited. I am so excited. So I'm going to tear this page out and I'm going to put it up on my board. And I'm already going to request the days off from work because I am going to Vogue Live Knitting. And it's in Columbus, Ohio. I am just so excited. All I do is take a bus downtown. It's just so fabulous. I can't wait. So that made my day. Not only did I get the great projects in it, but to see that, yes, yes, yes. So yeah, I get excited. I can't wait. Vogue Living Live. My first live, live one. That is going to be awesome. And because I'm a podcaster, I can get do the podcasting with all the podcasting people. I might meet some of my other podcasters. I can't wait. And I'm going to look for one of the girls that's from Columbus, Ohio, too. I'm going to get all their names. Yep. It's going to be fun. Networking with yarn. It's just too perfect. Too perfect. So I can't wait. I'm excited. So hopefully I will have video from that too in November. So see, that'll be exciting. So there's a lot of good things to look forward to in November, even though I don't want winter to come again. I mean, that's really crazy, but it'll be a good November. <laughs> I'll put up with a little bit of snow for that. So yeah, but that is exciting. And um, the other new thing I got is a new phone. So hi mom and all you that are watching this relatives, I will give you your, the new phone number. I just got it last night and I'm still working on it. So <laughs> I haven't texted everybody the new number yet. So don't worry, you'll get the new number. But it, I 
I came out of the granny world with the old phone that doesn't do anything to a technology phone where I can listen to podcasts and audios and do all kinds of, and I can do Instagram now and do Pinterest more because I'll have an actual phone that does it and it has a backup camera so I can record little videos also so i um, very excited about that and then hopefully with the new light coming we'll have better lighting in here too so that'll be there so yes and lots of progress I'm, I'm really happy uh, it's a good month as for the writing world um, the ebook has taken up most of the time um, I did get two rejections but that's normal in the writing life sorry the little vote the little letter that comes and it's formatted and it says thank you for sending it in but at this time it's not with our guidelines but that doesn't mean it's like it's your project just keep on trying the same blah 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 uh, so little little blah I mean I would like them to scribble something on it like you know this is good but you know at this time we're not doing this or something personalize it a little bit um, then it makes it not so bad but it doesn't mean it, I just file it away and say okay it's not for them move on to the next two people and send it out to somebody else so that's what I'll be doing um, in the next couple of weeks. I'll be sending those two proposals out to two other people. Um, trying to, I haven't heard anything from Annie's Closet and I haven't heard anything from Crochet World yet. Um, I have submitted projects to them both uh, and it's got all the way to the stage where I send them the actual product. So I'm waiting to see if it's a yes or no. So we'll see. Hopefully I'd like to have my first printed article would be nice for that. So keep your fingers crossed that I might be written up in a, in a magazine. That'd be nice. But until then, I'm just going to knit and crochet and paint and cross stitch and sew and do everything that you can do crafty. And then of course, gardening will be coming up. I mean, I've already got some seeds I already started. Uh, going to put the panels back on my greenhouse this weekend it's supposed to be nice here so hopefully we can do that um get some herbs going on my herb, my live herb inside herb wall and i have some plans to do some creative planners outside i have some old tires from off of an old vehicle i am going to spray paint them i already have the paint for that i'm going to spray paint them orange it's really cute it's like a peachish orange and one's pink some will put a pink one and a peach one and I'm gonna put tomato plants in it uh, and it's gonna be on the outside right beside my greenhouse one on one side one on the other side um, I have some really pretty buckets that I bought last year at Walmart that was I mean last season sale for a dollar I was so happy big huge metal one it's about this big and they have sea creatures on them like uh, turtles and dolphins and everything and I'm going to put some plants in it and stick them out there uh, so we're going to do that I'm going to have my son help me build a it's called a plant cart and all it is is one of those wooden dollies that has the four wheels that you can get at Harbor Freight and you put a piece of wood down on the bottom sort of bigger than the actual wheels so it goes out with the side and then you drill a hole and you put a string on it or a wrap so you know so you can pull it so you can pull the plants out to the shade and back out to the sun and you can have all your pots on them and I have a two soaking hoses and I'm gonna put, put the soaking hoses connected to them and then set them by the water spigot so they can do it on and it'll slowly soak uh, because it's outside treated wood it's, if it gets wet it's not a big deal but then all the plants get wa you know watered and I don't have to worry about it and then turn it off go put them in their little areas that they're gonna stay in makes it a lot easier so I'm gonna have him build me two of those that's our, our gardening projects are gonna be this year and of course the regular mulch and gravel that we had to do for the greenhouse and the, and the mulch for all of our shrubs but I think that's gonna be fun we'll have some fresh vegetables again this year and I'm using the last bag of the tomatoes from last year and I'm using the last bag of um, sweet potatoes and onions <laughs> As my brother, he has a really good garden and he gave me a whole bunch and I'm using the last bit of that. So it's lasted almost all year. So, I mean, 
it's it's definitely worth making some of your own food especially if you know how to freeze it and can it it's, it's definitely worth it and it's fun it gives you something to do outside and you know that's always good too but yeah that's basically what i'm up to life is just busy so far um nothing else new on that other than what i'm doing here at the podcast and working 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 and working um but if anything else comes up i will definitely try to podcast it now that i have a phone i can do little snippets of stuff so that that's going to be fun so i might be able to throw in some stuff that we do um definitely like that so like when i go to the one fair uh you just won't be pictures like it was last year this year it'll be video because i have a phone that does the video so even if i don't take my camera i can do the videos so that's going to be fun um so yeah you might see that and then definitely vogue knitting live will be recorded to the hilt i will make sure that there is video galore for you um that is going to be so exciting i mean i don't know what their schedule is and how they get back to ohio or not but just like my my writing my romance writing it only came once every 10 years and I got, I got on it when it came. So I'm not going to miss Vogue because what if it doesn't come in 10 years too? So I will be going to Vogue no matter what. Uh, so watch this space for that. Well, I think that's all I have other than I'll end with you guys looking at this beautiful stitch again. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it too because this is one of my favorite stitches and Tunisian crochet is not as bad as everybody thinks. So I want everybody to grab a project and do it in Tunisian and tag me. Show me down in the show notes that you're making a project. Tell me what you're doing. Send me to your Instagram. Send me to your Pinterest board. Uh, flood me with a whole bunch of you guys' stuff because I want to see it. And now that I have access to do it, I definitely want to so please 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 post so that's all i have to say for this podcast so just keep on hooking and you have a great day bye for now